Welcome back guys to my playthrough of Hexen. My name is Bodan, I play on Warlock difficulty as Mage using GZ Doom source port. Today I'm gonna continue with the game, hub number 3 and level number 3, at least in my order of the levels, right? It's called Orchard of Lamentations, so let's get started with that. <laughs> Hello. You scared me, by the way. Don't do that. <laughs> anyway, last time we saw we uh, visited the silent refectory and collected some gemstones. Only two remaining, and they are located in the next level that we are about to go. And. To go there, you have to find this little switch over here and pull it. It will reveal this area. How cool is that, right? I really like this, how this area is revealed. Don't forget to grab the falcon shield, any uh, ammo items, which I don't need. And then also this area is now revealed in the central yard. Look, at, look how those bishops uh, leave after images of themselves when they fly. That's really cool. I know I already told you that, but anyway. Now let's go here and strangely enough when we follow this corridor we will find ourselves on the other side of the map right over here why is that because according to the lore of this game the planet loops around itself itself right so when you go to one side of the planet you emerge from the other side. <laughs> anyway, find this switch, pull it and it will reveal the portal to our level. And I see you buddy over there. You will leave for now. Let's get started with the level. Alright, we start in this, so to say, Harot. We have couple of enemies but beware of the stalker in the in the swamp he usually appears right in front of your face not this time I guess come on you should be dead by now I won't be using porculators in this level. Instead, I will probably use uh, some flashes or quartz flasks. Also, beware of those pesky slaughters on the platforms. They really like to shoot. See how fast their projectiles are. No, 
I will not be using that map. Instead, I will probably use the frost shards. Although, I would really like to use my blood scorch again. So probably this courtyard would be nice, nice to do that. How do you think? I usually use discs of repulsion here because it's very easy to make enemies in fight. But I'm not sure. I think those projectiles are homing ones, so they, even if you miss aim, they will find their victim. Now let me quickly collect the items on top of these small ledges. Of course I fell down, why wouldn't I? this platform kind of sucks in jumping but anyway now our way to go is what was that that's a, a teleporter sound yes our way to go is down there which is a trap by the way this will lower and then we'll raise again smashing all it all except of this little platform so I will use the strategy of moving from platform to platform in order to survive the same way I can lure enemies into the deaths. probably use some discs of repulsion here, since we have a lot of them. This area contains not one, but two switches. That's because the other one opens the middle area. And you can smash those bishops the same way. Using this trick. switch in the middle but this little room contains not one but two switches and you have to pull the second one in order to let me kill all these enemies I don't want to leave them behind all right now I think that's all of them. We can leave this area. So I wanted to tell you one thing about my playthrough. The reason why I'm doing the practice runs before I record those videos is because I want to save your time and don't make these videos too long. Because, you know, 
no one wants to watch as someone wanders around the level uh, trying to find the switch or solve the puzzle. That's not very interesting to watch. So for that reason, especially the games with puzzles, I do some practice runs in order to know exactly what to do and where to go and show this strategy to you, my viewers. I hope you understand that. As you can see now this area is open and you can go and collect some items over here. As well as meet some stalker bosses. Guarding another emerald planet, which is kind of cool. But anyway, how do we go over there? Well, if you go back to the familiar room or courtyard, you will see that this now is open. By the way, you can smash those mushrooms and kill the enemies, because the gas is poisonous, obviously. <laughs> That's so fun to do. Although it does take some time. Let me go back here for the Porca later, but beware, there are some Centaurs and Slotors here. Slotors are my probably worst enemies after Wendigos. No, Slotors are the worst. The Wendigos would be on the second place now. Because they're the projectiles of Slotors are just very fast. Now, if you go over here, you will see that these passages are now open. But beware of some bishops over here. Notice how this bishop just appeared from nowhere. That's because we teleported to find the last planet, the sapphire planet. That's a mechanic called Silent Teleporter. Basically. It teleports you to the other place without you knowing that. And here we have the Amulet of Warding giving us a lot of armor. items if we want but anyway our job is now done we can go back and exit this level now I see some I hear some enemies teleported in but that's all right we can exit this level now And we are back here. Let's go solve that puzzle already. Hello buddy, I told you I will come back for you. We have the last two pieces of the puzzle, so let's use them here. You don't even have to select them, it appears. Just stand in front, it, in front of it and it will place itself. And now the puzzle is solved. So that was that that's it for today. I will see you in the next video where we continue our journey through the Heresiarchs Seminary Realm. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.